Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. For those who are interested in the saga of the Son of Sam, uh, the ultimate evil by uh, Moray uh, Terry, Maurice Terry, uh, well, you can read the book online for free. As a matter of fact, both versions are online for free. Um, through the link that is down below. So go down there, follow that link, and you can get it online for free. There's also, of the first edition, there's a PDF version of it that you can download and keep. And then there's the later edition that apparently uh, you can only read online. So do check out the links. You know, he is dead. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything that he set up properly to take care of his research or anything else. So, um, there is no royalties to go anywhere. So um, you certainly can read his book online and it's not uh, cheating the author or doing something improper. You know, once an author dies, uh, the ownership of that book becomes very clouded. The uh, fact is, is that it's supposed to go into his estate where is his estate? That's part of his legacy of not taking care of something that he claimed he spent his life researching. It's really sad when people spend their so-called, he's only written one book and he has all this so-called research that he was ready to release and for one reason or another didn't do it. Whether it's the fact that he was a coward, whether it was the fact he couldn't organize it. For a guy who's written one book and, and a time when you can get books published easier, um, it's pretty sad uh, that whatever information he had was left there and given to a do-nothing Hollywood type apparently uh, by somebody in his family. So most likely, uh, there isn't any royalties going to anybody any longer. Uh, so you are welcome to go to this spot. Uh, I have nothing to do with it personally. And read it online and access the uh, PDF. You know, it's sad when people don't take care of their legacy, don't leave things to people. And he certainly had a lot of contact with people. Um, yet none of this was passed on to anybody that he actually uh, worked with and knew for years. He was even afraid to talk to some people. Uh, this has been stated by Ed Opperman, who tried to contact him many times to interview him, who's a uh, private detective licensed in New York State at that time, yet he wouldn't talk to him, so Opperman states. So I don't know what he was afraid of there, and uh, we don't really know who Joe Opperman is either, but um, the bottom line is, is that he left nothing. He left his papers in a pile in his uh, apartment uh, that were summarily picked up, apparently by a relative and given to some Hollywood producer type. What error that is. I mean, there were other people he knew, serious researchers, um, particularly Denaro, who claims to have been a great friend of his and got absolutely nothing from this. He could have turned his records over to him to make sure that they were followed through. But this is the kind of legacy he's left. This is the kind of planning he does. This is the kind of errors he made. And it's really unfortunate, but it also shows a person who is unorganized, uninformed, and a poor researcher, which he fits all of that. And he knew nothing about the key elements of this, which is the international... Um, gangs of satanic practitioners uh, that are out there that basically are organized crime hiding behind Satanism. And he childishly has blamed the process church for everything, which uh, really is a stretch from what we can see today. And the fact that they were kind of weird and particularly to him because they combined uh, the dark and light side of the personality, otherwise known as Jesus and Satan. Well, you know, this is nothing new. So, um, but to him it was because he was ignorant. And part of his ignorancy is not leaving paperwork to be picked up by other people, some that he knew, and other people that he could have contact, uh, contacted is he refused to do it. You know, these are major errors that we have to understand that uh, Murray or Maury Terry is not a very good source of anything and doesn't think too well and is basically just a ignorant Christian uh, attacking anything that doesn't have a cross on it. So if you want the books there, follow the link below.